In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make your own custom alert dialog with your own layout. And a great example of this is for my irrigation app. This over here is a custom alert dialog that shows the radii of sprinklers as well as their quantity. The app is currently available on the Google Play Store and the link is in the description so you can check that out. This is what the code for my layout looks like. I have the button from the previous tutorial and I also have another button that will launch the custom dialog. You can name it any way you want. I also have the button over here, the second button, and I have an on-click listener. So this is where I'm going to be writing the code to launch my custom alert dialog. And the old button doesn't really matter. So let's focus on button two. The first step is to create a custom layout. And in order to do so, I'm going to go to my layouts folder, right click and create a new layout resource file. I'm going to name this alert dialog. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go to split the split version. I'm going to change this constraint layout to a relative layout. To save time, I'm just going to skip ahead to the part where I've already written the code. And you can either pause the video to copy it or check out the GitHub repository link in the description. So I just quickly created this random layout for the alert dialog with a title, some text, an edit text, and two buttons at the bottom with a relative uh, in a linear layout. I also have custom colors for the buttons. Now what I'm going to do to actually create the dialog when the user presses the button is create a dialog object like so. And inside I'm going to pass in my main activity dot this. In addition to that, another thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to say dialog dot request window feature window dot feature no title. Because what this will do otherwise is on top of our title that we have over here where it says my title, it will add another title like so, and we don't want that. Another thing that I'm going to have to specify is background drawable, view color drawable, and then uh, color.transparent. And what this will basically do is set everything besides our dialogue to being transparent. That way we can actually see the app and it'll kind of be uh, shaded a bit, so it'll be but it'll still be transparent. And finally, the most important part is setting the actual content of our dialog because the thing that separates the traditional dialog from our custom one is the fact that we don't just have a title message and buttons we can actually change what it looks like like over here we have a red background and red buttons we also have an edit text which i don't think is something you can have in just a regular alert dialog so i'm going to come here and say dialog that's like content view layout dot alert dialog which is the name of the layout file that i created finally to actually display this i'm just going to have to say dialog dot show and let me run this now. When I run the app and click on the custom dialog button, you can see that it appears like this. Only our my title and the buttons at the bottom have a background, whereas the enter your age and aged um, edit text are transparent, and that's because we specified it over here. You may also notice that we specifically set the background of our title and specifically set the background of our buttons. So we have to do the same thing for the text view and edit text, or we can do it for our whole dialog as a whole by going to the relative layout that contains all of our views and saying Android background and setting the color to white. So although it may not make a difference over here, when we run the app, now the whole relative layout or whole dialog will have a background of white and, now, and then it'll change the color of the text view and buttons correspondingly. So when I click on custom dialog, you can see it makes a custom dialog. As it currently is, pressing on the buttons does nothing, and that's because we haven't set on quick listeners to them. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna say button back and button done. And I'm gonna say back equals dialog dot find view by id, r dot id dot go back. And that's the ID of the button. So this part over here is really important. You cannot simply say back equals find view by id because it thinks you're referring to the button from our activity, from the on create. So from uh, activity main over here when in reality re referring to the button that comes from alert dialog this id go back comes from alert di alert dialog and that's why you have to use this dialog and the dot operator to specify that the button back is from the dialog similarly we have to say done equals dialog dot find view by id r dot id dot done and now we can say back dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and then um, just dismiss the dialog. And in order to dismiss that dialog, you just say dialog.dismiss. Alternatively, you could just say dialog.cancel. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Now you can see this red squiggly line that pops up. And it's going to say since we're accessing our dialog inside this onClick method from this interface, we're going to have to make dialog final. 
and just go ahead and hit alt enter and it will make that change for you I'm gonna copy and paste the same thing here for my done button and maybe I'll just say toast.make text uh, get application context done clicked toast.length short and show and I'll do the same thing over here except I'll say back clicked so now when I run this and I tap on the buttons you should be able to see the toast that pop up so over here is the app custom dialog and when I tap back it dismisses it and says back clicked when I click on done it says done clicked um, now well, let's do something where we ha have the user enter the age and when they click on back or done it displays the age so similarly we're going to create our edit text object and I'm going to call it age and then we're going to say age equals dialog that find view by id or that id dot age and now um, what I can do over here is say back clicked message I mean uh, back clicked ages and then I can say age dot get text and then you can also see over here just like with the dialog it requires age to be final since we're accessing it from this inner method and I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here. So when the user clicks the back button in your custom dialog, you're able to dismiss it. When the user types in their age, like 123, and they press done, it says done is clicked, and it also says age is 123. So what you learned from this tutorial was how to create your own dialog with a custom layout that you created. You also learned how to respond to button clicks and get the text from edit text using dialog.findview by ID. With this knowledge, you can make better looking customized alert dialogs for the purposes of your app, such as in the irrigation app, where the alert dialog not only has a title and a button at the bottom, but even has a list within the alert dialog. I hope you learned from this tutorial and as always, share the channel with friends and don't forget to subscribe.